Hello and welcome you all to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about a Sparkline. What is a Sparkline and how to add it in Power BI report. So if you don't know the same, please proceed by watching this video. So Sparkline is nothing but a tiny charts that can be added in your Power BI report visuals like a table and matrix. Suppose you have a business requirement and client want to look at the number as well as the trends for the data at the same time that time you can go for the sparkline. So on the screen, you can see the requirement. I want to add a sparkline which shows the sales trends by month for each distribution channel. So already I have imported the data. I have three tables. Uh, first one is a date, deemed dimension code, sorry, uh, dimension DC code, that is a distribution channel code. Then I have fact sales table. So already I have performed the data modeling in data modeling tab. So without further delay, let's jump on the practical. So first of all, you need to select a table or a matrix. As of now, I will select a matrix. And here uh, I will select the distribution channel name and a house sales amount. So this is uh, how basically we create a matrix. Now, I want to add a spark line in this uh, table or matrix. So uh, there are two ways you can add a sparkline. Just click, go to the insert tab. Here you will get the add a sparkline option or just right click on the visual fields and here you will get a sparkline option. Just click on that. You will get a new window and it will ask for you X axis. So already I have Y axis amount and the uh, operation, uh, summarization operation is a sum. So as per your requirement, you can select that operation. So on the x-axis, I am going to provide a month because I want to show the trends for the each distribution channel by the month. So just select a month from the date hierarchy and click on create. So this is how we can create a, a spark line which shows the trends. Now, uh, if you want to uh, format this uh, trade line or the spark line, just click on that matrix or table and go to the format pane and scroll down. So here you will get the option sparkline. Now I want to change the color. So from here you can change the color. Also you can increase or decrease the width of the sparkline. And suppose uh, you want to show the highest and the lowest point of the sparkline, just go to the marker. Here you will get the option highest and lowest. So I will change the color for that. And in case uh, you want to change the type of the marker, here you will get the option. And same here, you can increase the size and uh, decrease the size of the marker. So this is how uh, we can uh, create a sparkline and format the sparkline. In case uh, you don't want to uh, line. So here you will get the option to change the type of that chart. So from here, you can select a column. And this is how the, our line chart will get converted into the uh, column. So as of now, I will select a line chart because to look at the trends by month or year, a line chart will be a more appropriate. So I hope you understood. Thank you.